This is a short introductory tutorial on heavy duty relay. In this tutorial, you will learn about its spin outs, normally known as contacts. You can use a relay only if you know about its contacts, like which is the common, which is the normally closed, which is the normally open, and which are the coil pins or contacts. So do watch this tutorial from start to the very end as we will be using heavy duty relay in upcoming projects for controlling water pumps, AC, heaters, refrigerators, etc. using Arduino. So do subscribe to my channel so that you never miss anything. So far we have been using small SPAT type relays for controlling bulbs and controlling DC motors. I have used this type of relays in so many tutorials like controlling a car and anti-theft protection. You can watch this tutorial if you want to protect your car from being stolen. Motor edge bridges, touchless control system, infrared remote control based AC DC loads controlling, Bluetooth based control system etc etc. Just check my playlist and you will find amazing projects. This is the schematic symbol of a relay. So all the SPAT type relay has 5 pins. Two are the choir pins. The one is a normally open, normally closed and the common. So my friends, I just uh, received these relays and I am unboxing these and uh, as you can see the, the type is uh, JQX-62F1Z and uh, it's a 12 volt relay and quantity is 4 pieces so so let's check this one as you can see this is uh, an SPAT type relay a heavy duty relay and uh, these relays are most commonly used in, in stabilizers and these relays can be used uh, like control AC and uh, water pumps or anything you, you want to control so these are 25 amps each let's start with this one about its uh, this one is the common as you can see and, and, and by default you know, it's connected with this one with this one as you can see so this is the normally close and this is the normally open so this is normally open this is the normally close this is the common of the relay and this one and this one these are the quiet pins so let's check let's confirm so this is a 12 volt supply and uh, let's check this manually so as you can see it can be operated using 12 volt and this is the manual checking so we can simply manually control this uh, by applying ground on this side or this side so as these are the coil uh, pins so it doesn't matter whether we connect 12 volts on this side or this side so we can connect 12 volts over here and a ground over here or 12 volts on this side and ground on this side so if you want you can control this manually by simply attaching uh, a button over here so connecting one side with the 12 volt and the other side with the ground and then by turning on and turning off the button we can simply control this but is uh, we, we want to use this uh, for the automatic operation like for example when a temperature reaches a certain threshold then we want to turn off the AC or turn off the of the room cooler or when the, the water tank is empty we want the water pump to start automatically and when the water tank is full we want this to to, to stop the water pump automatically so uh, this is a heavy duty relay and can be used for this purpose and and I will show you how you can automatically control because such relay cannot be used uh, directly with the controller as the controller won't be able to turn this relay on and off so we will make a driver circuit for this relay we will do the design calculations over here you can see this is completely manual applying ground on one side and 12 volt on the other side so it's, it's working perfectly but for the automatic operation we need uh, to design a driver circuit so for that purpose we will be using uh, NPN transistor or a MOSFET depends on the calculation so we will perform the calculations and then we will make our own driver circuit design and then we will control this using Arduino Uno so I will be using these relay in different types of uh, projects 